Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error. That is dxgi underscore error underscore device underscore hung 0x887a0006 while playing Shadow of Tomb Raider game on your computer. Now the first step is to go ahead and restart your computer. So if the game is running, go ahead and close the game. Uh, just go ahead and quit the game and after that go ahead and restart it and shut down your computer and then you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try launching the game that should go ahead and fix the error now still you are facing the problem then you have to go ahead and check the debug mode in nvidia control panel so make a right click on your uh, desktop and click on nvidia control panel now on the top you will see the help option so you have to go ahead and click on help and then go ahead and put a check on debug mode so click on debug mode this will go ahead and put a check on debug mode and then you can go ahead and try launching the game now still you are facing the problem then go ahead and do a clean installation of your graphic card driver so if you have amd go ahead and install the amd driver do a clean installation so if you have amd go to amd website if you have uh, nvidia go to nvidia website so i'm doing it for nvidia so just type in nvidia drivers in google search then click on download drivers go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list so whatever is your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card if you're not aware you can make a right click on on your start menu click on device manager and then expand the display adapter and here you can see the name of your graphic card so select your graphic card then click on search and then click on download now once you click on download it will download the exe file once the download is complete go ahead and run the exe file and then you will see this screen click on agree and continue select the option which says custom then click on next and then put a check on option which says perform a clean installation this is very important so you put a check on perform a clean installation then click on next and then install the graphic card driver this will do a clean installation and then you can go ahead and try launching the game after the system restart now the next step is to disable antivirus and control folder access so if you have any third party antivirus maybe bitdefender or mcafee avast so till the time you are playing the game so while you are playing the game before you launch the game uh, before you go ahead and launch the game you go ahead and disable the antivirus now after you are done playing the game you can always enable the antivirus also make sure that you disable the control folder access from windows security so click on the start menu click on the settings go to update and security go to windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down and then click on manage ransomware protection and disable control fo folder access so here you can see in my case it's already disabled now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card so this is for laptop users with uh, with dual graphic card so as I've shown you that my computer has a dual graphic card. So if I open device manager, so here I can see Intel and Nvidia. So if you have dual graphic card and you have a laptop, then make a right click on the desktop and then make a right click somewhere on the desktop then click on Nvidia control, uh, just uh, click on Nvidia control panel. This will open Nvidia control panel, then click on manage 3D settings, go to program settings, then click on add, select shadow of Tom uh, Raider uh, from the list if you don't find the game then click on browse go to uh, the game installation folder so open the c drive open steam uh, program files x86 then open the steam folder and then you have to go ahead and open steam apps folder and then open common folder and here you can see the shadow of tom reader open this and then select the game exe file and then click on open and then here you will see preferred graphic processor so click on down arrow and select high performance nvidia processor and then click on apply and once the apply is done you close that nvidia control panel and then you can go ahead and try launching the game the next step is to do not overclock uh, you know your hardware components so if you have MI, msi afterburner or revert tuner or if you have any other overclocking application on your computer go ahead and disable it and please avoid overclocking of your hardware component now the next step is to turn off dx12 in the game so open 
your game then go to options and then uncheck the option which says DirectX 12 so uncheck it then click on OK and then quit and then you can go ahead and try launching the game once again now also make sure that you run the game as an administrator so to run the game as an administrator go to the game installation folder you can go to the game installation folder or you can make a make a right click on the desktop shortcut select properties okay here i don't see the option so go to the game installation folder so open file explorer go to this pc open c drive open program files x86 open steam folder then open steam apps then open common folder then open shadow of tom raider and then here you will find the exe file make a right click then select properties and here you can see the compatibility tab put a check on option which says run this program as an administrator then put a check on run this program in compatibility mode for and select windows 8 and then click on apply and then you can go ahead and try launching the game also make sure that when you make a right click on exe file go to properties go to the security tab and then make sure that you know you allow full control to all the users so if you have uh, go ahead and select your user uh, the selected you click on edit and select your username users and then click on if anything is here you can see i have allowed access to all the users so it's already allowed in, in your case if it's not allowed select your user then you have to click you have to allow you know just allow full control and then click on ok ok and then you can go ahead and try launching the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error now i most of the time i've seen this restarting your computer or checking the debug mode in video control panel or doing a clean installation of graphic card driver has fixed the problem so one of these steps should definitely help you to go ahead and fix this error message so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel